Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how using the Excel VBA, once we have created a workbook, then what uh, operations we can perform on it afterwards. That is how can we open a workbook in Microsoft Excel and uh, after that performing some changes, how can we save it or how can we close the workbook? So uh, in the previous video, we learned about uh, how to create a workbook and after its creation, we saved it at a place with a custom name. So if you uh, have remembered, then macro created was the name of the workbook, which we created and saved it. So I'm in currently this workbook only, which is uh, the same workbook which we created using the VB code. Okay. So now what we're going to do is actually open a workbook using the um, visual basic code or um, the vba editor so let's see what we need to do first of all is press alt f11 from our keyboard to bring up this uh, vba editor in this vba editor go to the insert menu to insert a new module now on uh, this module we can just rename it as um, we are performing operations on workbook so op workbook is going to be our name of the module and let's just create a sub procedure op workbook is the name of a sub procedure as well open and close the parenthesis and this is a sub procedure that we have got inside it you need to write the code okay so first of all what do we need to write is the code to open a workbook so to open a workbook we first need to uh, access the workbooks function okay uh, workbooks function we all know is the plural of the workbook which is used to access a particular workbook then you need to provide a dot operator then you can see that there are these various options available and from this operation options you can just select this open option now once you selected open you need to provide the name of the workbook which you want to open okay so just put a space and again you can see that there are all these things present in front of you which means that all these options or all these parameters are possible uh, whose value you can provide so you can provide value of any of the parameters that you want but to provide the value you first need to specify the name of the parameter to specify the name of the parameter you can just cross check the name from the list of the options given like i want to specify the file name then after you have written the name of the parameter you got to press the colon and then put an equal sign then put a space after this in double quotes you need to provide the path of um, the workbook which you want to open so let us just put the double quotes and just paste uh, actually uh, let's just search for the path so we come to our excel go to file and open and from here you can just go to browse and in this browse you can just copy this path okay and sheet vba is the name of the sheet which we want to open so let's just go back to our vba and within double quotes we can just paste it put a, a slash and then write the name of the sheet that is sheet space vba so this is the name of the file which we want to open the reason why we are opening this file because this is a macro enabled workbook so we would be able to execute our macros very easily in it so let's just see if we just try to run it but let's just minimize it and now if we try to run it then you can see that our new sheet sheet vba or our previous sheet uh, that we had closed sheet vba is now opened so that's how you can open a workbook that is already present uh, using the workbook function now let us make some changes to it suppose i just uh, delete this value and i add some values like um, changes anything that you want to like changes made here in workbook so that's what i want to just make the changes over here now i again want to save it so what you can do is uh, simply just uh, go to the workbooks function either if you just uh, use this uh, workbooks vba editor there are two options to save a workbook if you are in the same workbook and you want to save this workbook then uh, you can uh, first open the vba editor for sheet vba workbook okay 
now if you open the vba editor for the sheet uh, vba workbook you can see there are nine sheets available and all these modules are available now if you want to save the workbook from here what you can do is simply just use this workbooks function put a dot and then there is this option of save okay uh, or you can just use the parenthesis and within double quotes you can just specify the name of the workbook that you want to save and you can just simply save it so let's just provide it with a name the name is macro created dot excel sx that's the extension then again put a dot and you will get the option of save so if we just try to execute it uh okay so that is uh that you need to use a different name and uh, the reason why we got this error in this line was because we have already created a workbook with the name of macro created in the same place so let's just comment this line out and now if we try to run it then you can see that um, actually you cannot feel anything but uh, actually this macro created workbook is now saved so that's how it works that's how you can save a workbook now if you want to close a workbook then how can you go with it uh, suppose we are in sheet vba and we bring up its uh, vba okay now if you want to close a particular workbook suppose we wanted to close macro created xls x workbook uh, we right now have macro created workbook sheet vba and book three uh, there are three workbooks open so we want to save macro created workbook uh, actually we have saved it and now we want to close it so how can we close it you can just go to workbooks function and put a dot you can see there is this close option so if you just use this close option then what will happen is uh, you can just comment this line out and let's see what happens we can just run it you can see that we have got a warning from microsoft excel that you want to sh uh, save changes to your sheet sheet vba.xlsm the reason why we have got xlsm as the extension because it was a macro enabled workbook and um, uh, it is asking you to save it because we haven't saved it at um, up till now so uh, if you just use that workbooks function and put a close in it this means that uh, you would be able to close the current workbook so i do not want to close this workbook but i want to close some other workbook okay so what workbook i want to close i want to cr uh, close this macro created dot xlsx workbook so for that what we need to do is after this workbook function within the parenthesis we need to provide the name of the workbook along with its extension that we need to close I want to close this macro created uh, that's the name of my workbook and provide its extension and what operation do I need to perform I need to close it okay so just close and when you run it then you can see nothing happens but if you open this up then we have got sheet VBA we have got book 3 but our macro enabled workbook that uh, that was actually actually the macro created workbook that was the name of the workbook is now been closed so uh, that's how you can close the workbook but uh, if you want to save the particular workbook that is we are in sheet vba and now if we want to save the sheet vba named workbook then how can you go with it we know how to close this uh, workbook so before closing we need to save it so for that workbooks within the parenthesis you need to specify the name because if you just go with workbooks and put a dot then there is no option of saving it so you need to provide it with a name and the name of our uh, actually workbook is sheet vba dot xlsm that's the name along with the extension then put a dot and use the save option and then we can just close it using workbooks uh, dot close or alternatively uh, you can provide like workbooks within the parenthesis you can provide the full name like sheet space vba dot xlsm and then you can just close it or simply you can just directly close it so if you just try to execute it using the f8 function first of all it is saved and then if you just try to close it then yes it's closed and just check it uh, like 
book 3 is now only open along with this VBA editor which is now uh, for book 3 okay so if you want to check it you can go to the file and open our sheet VBA then once the sheet VBA is open you can see whatever changes we made over there are now present so that's how you can uh, open close and save the workbooks in Microsoft Excel using the VBA code that's all for the video